guys, so today I have another wish haul. So let's actually jump right into it. So the first thing is this big old thing. I paid $5.67 for this. And it is a pack of 50 of those like fake magic eraser sponges. Now these are a little bit thinner, but I like these because they're like disposable. So um, I like to use these to clean my bathroom because I'm not a fan of using like reusable rags on my toilet and on my bathroom floor and anything that touches nasty bodily fluids and things that come out of your body. So um, I, I really don't like throwing them in with the rest of my laundry either. So I like the fact that I can use one of these to clean my entire bathroom and then throw it away when I'm done. And I have 50 for under $6. So that's really not a bad deal at all. And these can also be like, when you're cleaning your bathroom, when it gets full of dirt and gross, you just run it under the tap, you know, like wash it out, squeeze it off, put a little more cleaning product on it and then go to town again. And then you can use this whole you can use this one sponge to clean your entire bathroom. So, or whatever you want to use to clean it. You can also like, I believe you can get like crayon off the wall with this and stuff. And these are really nice and they come in handy. So I'm happy about those. And then I got 50 for 5.67. Not bad whatsoever. Okay, next up. Okay, so these, I'm actually wearing these right now. And I have a, a a clip from earlier that I did. These are these were seven seventy eight, and you get a pair of you get one, two, yeah, seven pairs. Okay, sorry, I had to count how many were in here. You got seven pairs of lashes for. 778 and I got it in this style it says sexy sheep 703 and these are very long and full wispy lashes and these are what they look like I had to pause you for a second I had to sneeze it just came out of nowhere okay so <laughs> um so I actually have I did this makeup look um with the, I don't know if it's out yet, so I don't know which one is gonna be out first, but this was the NYX Luminous Serum and Cheek Whatever review video, and I put these on in that video, so I have clips from me putting them on, so I will show you the process and everything. All right, so here they are. And I'm just gonna pull the middle ones off and I'm actually gonna cut them down to size and then we'll get into this. Okay, so I have on the glue and I'm using, whoop, wrong way. Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe in Clear. This is my favorite. It's $2 at Dollar General and it's amazing. All right, so now I'm gonna start with these ones instead. Let's bend these first. I always find this eye to be a lot easier to apply than the other one. Of course, the band on this is pretty thick, so it's not wanting, I'm really not gonna mess with this too much until it starts to really dry down. But it's sort of falling. I'm 
Look how long and wispy that is. That is crazy. This has like amazing, incredible length. If you want length, these are the eyelashes for you. All right, now let's get this Solana on. Take two. Yes, okay. So, still a little wet, so I need it to dry. So I'm not really gonna pinch it yet or it'll just pop up on the other side. We'll go back to pinching this one. Perfect, okay. So this one came out nicely. And I'll do like an even more close up. And there, oh. This one just wants to slide around my eye. Oh, come on, come on, get on there. This I need to get on my lash line. It doesn't want to stay. There we go. All right, I'm gonna pause you guys because this video will be like 20 minutes long. All right, so here they are and I really like them. I just need to get them trained to my eyes. I think the next couple times that I use them, they'll um, form better and they'll stop popping up in the places where they're popping. So yeah, really, really nice lashes and they were pretty cheap for seven pairs, so. All right, so moving on. I should have put these away before I press play, huh? Okay. Next up is a shirt. Okay. I paid $10 for this, and this is a shirt for my son. I went a little pricey on this. I'm considering getting a refund, but not really because it is what it is. But it's really cute, but... I don't know if you can, there you go. You can see my face through it. It's see-through, it's supposed to be black. The sun was shining for a second and you can really see through this. Like if I hold this up to the window, I can see my pool, I can see my garage. So kind of disappointed about that. So the material, super thin, um, not the best material that, that could be out there and this material is that like what do you call it the like plastic kind of feel um decals and i'm not a fan of those because they crack and they lift really easily um so it is what it is i don't know if i'm gonna get a refund or not because i mean it is what it said it was so I'm just not happy with the quality of that, but you know, you win some, you lose some, right? I'm just upset that I paid $10 for that. So next up, okay, I'm gonna do this one first. 
All right, I paid $2.69 for this, and I had one of these in my last wish haul, but this is a different style. So this is a Harry Potter lanyard, and it's on, the one from my last haul is on my keys right now, so. But this one's really cute. It says the HP, it's got Hedwig, it's got the Firebolt, his glasses, nine and three quarters, that key that from that um the first one the keys that like fly um lightning bolts the sorting hat i think that's a wand maybe not i don't know then there's a different pair of glasses and then there's harry potter and here's a letter and a snitch. Here's the, a different golden snitch. Another headwig. That symbol, which that's wrong. Um, there's no square. <laughs> there's no square. It's just supposed to be a big circle with a line down through it. So that's, that's not accurate. I'm kind of annoyed about that, but oh well. It is what it is. But yeah, really nice quality. Super cute. Okay, so next up, okay. So these are another thing that I tested out with my makeup look that I did today. And these are eyeliner stamps. And I'll just show you what they look like. So I had a little trouble with them, but all in all, they're actually pretty good guides. I don't use this part because it's super thick, but this part, as you can see, it made a really nice guide for my wing because usually I can never get them even and never get them the way I want to. So I just sand them on and then fix them up with some makeup remover and a pointed Q-tip. So I will show you clips of me trying to apply this. Okay, so I have the stamper. I think I'm gonna do the wing first just because I don't want it to like dry up right away. So I'm going to take my Ico Skinny Liquid Black Eyeliner and I'm going to paint it on this part and then I'm gonna immediately stamp it before it dries. And then I guess I'm gonna fill in what didn't um, It didn't transfer so let's paint this okay now we're going to stamp it so that didn't really go on at all maybe it's because i have makeup on already we'll try stamping it maybe a little harder So, I mean, kind of, not really. Let's see if we can use that as a guide and fill it in. Like, I don't even know where it all stamped. That seems great, right? And we'll just fill that in, which this eyeliner really does not like going over shadows. I'm going to move this here so I can see it just a little better. And that's how it's looking. Not sure if I like my wing that big, but. Okay, now let's see if we can paint this part and have it go. On. <laughs> A little bit, but like, 
smells really thick. Oh my God. That is so thick and that looks so bad. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I don't even want to do the other side. Okay, so, so I've discovered that my Ico eyeliner really doesn't like painting over eyeshadow, especially the glitter one. So I'm going to try this one on this eye, just doing the wing again with a different liner. And we'll see if this works any better. I mean, I kind of let it dry a little bit. Let's do that again. Hey, I mean, it looks terrible because <laughs> um, my eye bunches so much, but let's try to fill Fill that in and then I'm not gonna use the bottom part because that gets too thick and I'm just gonna draw it by hand across I mean I think I might just use it for the wing part and not for the bottom part because look how thick that liner is at the bottom it's supposed to be dramatic but that's like a little too much for me. Okay, so I went and cleaned it up with a Q-tip with a point on it with some makeup remover and then sort of fixed up my eyes just a little bit. And I actually think this came out really nice, to be honest. My wing usually sucks. Now, it's not any less time consuming, I feel like because you still got to sculpt out the wing and everything but it gives a really nice guide to where you're putting the liner so I do think it's really nice for that um and I do have to say it's really hard to stamp it over shimmery eyeshadow eyeliners really don't like to work I just discovered over shimmery eyeshadow so I had to do a few layers but I think it turned out really nicely and i'm actually really happy about that okay all right so i did mention that these are crap but actually as i did the other eye um i found out that the uh the eyeliner that i chose first wasn't the best and the fact that the liquid eyeliner really doesn't like to go on on top of a shimmer shadow so I would suggest using these on top of matte shadows or doing your eyeliner first and then doing the shimmer if you're doing a shimmer. But yeah, I'm going to hold on to these and I'm going to actually use these when I want to do a dramatic eye and a dramatic wing because these are really, really nice guides and I was able to do a wing without... I mean, I had to do a little bit of fix up, but without screwing up my entire eye. So that was a plus. All right, next up. Okay, so I had two little food things. Okay, the first one I spent $1.81 on, and I didn't tell you how much I spent on that, did I? This was $1.91, those stampers, and you get two of them, one for each eye. So this was $1.81. And this, I actually went out today and bought a lemon for this so we can try this out. This is a lemon or lime spritzer. So I have my lemon and I made sure to get like a, a ripe one. And I'm guessing you stick it right down in here. Ooh, okay, so let's get that. It's a little hard to get it in, but once it's in, now I don't want to spray anything and get it all sticky. So we'll take 
the apple and the orange out of this bag and we'll spray it inside the bag. So let's see. Let's see. It works. Okay, I'm not gonna waste it because my husband, my hus husband, husband, my husband could probably use this and I don't wanna waste an entire lemon. So we're just gonna put that bag there so it doesn't get sticky. Actually, we can use that for the next one. Okay, I didn't wash it. You know what? I'm gonna wash this one though. I might, I might just throw that lemon away because I didn't wash it and ew, this one is disgustingly dirty. So I don't know. Let me go wash this and I'll be right. All right, so I've decided I'm probably gonna throw this lemon away because this was really, really dirty and I don't know how dirty this one was. So I'd rather not get my family sick over a 75 cent lemon. So. All right, so I have an apple. This is a apple and orange peeler. It was $1.82. So this side is the apple. And not really sure how it works. Oh, okay. And it just peels the apple. And you know what? My son hates apple peel. He will eat the apple and then spit spit the peel out. Like he'll eat the middle part. So this is, this is a little hard. And you know what would be easier? A vegetable peeler. So this part, not really great. Okay, so let's try the orange portion this piece is to cut your orange now this works nicely see that all right so is that everything yes all right so Couple fails, couple wins. This was really nice. This was really nice, but I failed at, oh, it's leaking. Oh, goodness. This is something that you need to use like all at once, I'm guessing. I don't know. So that was nice. This, I would buy this for the orange peeler part, but this, the apple peeler, just use a vegetable peeler. The sponges are nice. The Harry Potter lanyard was nice. The eyebrow, the eye liner sampers, I'm gonna use them as well as the eyelashes. I love the eyelashes. So the only real duds were, I guess the shirt, but it wasn't like a full dud. I mean, he's still gonna wear it. And the apple portion of this. So everything else, really nice. But yeah, that is everything. And as always, if you're interested in purchasing any of these products, the links will be listed in the description box down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.